Alrighty, welcome back guys. We're gonna go through the next mission making for dummies tutorial and it's gonna be how to put a ground unit in. Okay, so we're gonna go down to this little guy here. Ground units, little tank icon. We're gonna click on that and it's gonna give us very similar settings. So uh, one thing I didn't cover, country, if it's got a blue dot or a red dot. Okay, blue's blue for obviously, red's red team. Pretty straightforward, but didn't cover that in the video before, so there you go. So we're gonna put down a couple of units here at Povaletti Airfield. All right, so Povaletti, we're just gonna screw it, zoom in with the mouse wheel. Now, country, Russia, we're gonna stick with that, and category, so instead of being the type before, okay, we've got a category for our ground unit, so we can choose air defense, if we wanna put down SAM sites, armor, if we wanna put down tanks or BMPs, fighting vehicles, all that stuff, artillery, fortification you can put houses bunkers and all the rest infantry missiles you can put a train in for some reason if you want and you can even go unarmed okay so we're gonna just stick with good old armor and we'll go a main battle tank t90 so we've got that there now it's gonna click on the map there we go unit is put in and it's pretty much the exact same thing that we had before skill is gonna be any of those average good high excellent random okay so choose whichever one you want and now we're going to go through a couple of different things that you've got options for so if you have uh, combined arms okay if you have player can drive checked and you've got combined arms module you can actually spawn into this air into this tank and drive it around and shoot things it's like war thunder okay but only if you've got combined arms so if you want it to be uh, drivable by yourself players or other players that have it you can click play i can drive okay up to you what you want to do there pretty straightforward hidden on the map hidden on planner uh it just means that if you check those we're not going to go into those but pretty much it's just going to hide it on the f10 map uh late activation is for triggers which we haven't covered yet game master only is if you put a game master slot in and then transportable if you click that it means you can pick it up with a helicopter okay you can sling load it blah 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 sweet as all right so now we're going to come down to the next part down into the waypoint area again you've got a couple of options off-road on-road line of rest tone v diamond echelon echelon right custom okay so you can set up um a set formation if we've got more than one unit okay so we're gonna go ahead and go on road and it's going to move him to the closest road Okay. if you want to spawn him on a road if not you can go off-road and then you can just click and drag him wherever you want to put it so that is that uh if you want to put waypoints in we'll cover that in the next one how to put a waypoint in. and the last thing we're going to cover if you want to add multiple units so you can have this guy and if i want to spawn in others so up here unit one of one you just click here two three four five six seven so on and so forth all right and you're going to get all of those units you can click and drag them around the only thing with this all right is if you grab the very first unit okay unit number one that's is essentially imagine it like a uh a circle he's the center of the circle everything else wherever you put them around will move at the same time so if you move unit one make sure you put unit one where you want it to be and then drag the other guys around right, as you want all right is if you move unit one you'll move all of the other aircraft uh, all of the other units and that's the same with planes everything in the mission editor sweet 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 as uh one other thing if you for some reason want to make them face a certain way you can click on the unit and then this little guy here drag it around and you can make the tank face a certain way so if you want them all facing the same way you can also do that happy days all right, that's pretty much how you spawn in ground units. So those tanks, if we were to spawn in and fly over the top with our F-18, we got close enough and low enough, they would start shooting at us. And if there was friendly blue units on the ground, they would also be uh, shooting at blue units that are in range. So you can see their threat rings, the, the red circles there, that's the range the tanks got that can engage targets from. So it kind of helps you if you, if you want, say, to put blue guys over here and make them kind of push towards each other as we get into mission editing a little bit more in depth you can use the threat rings to kind of 
space your units so they don't just spawn in and start shooting at each other straight away. Righto guys, hopefully that made sense as well. We just went through how to place a ground unit down. And yeah, we're good to go. Catch you on the next one.